Welcome to another edition of the Psychor PowerShell Extensions Training Series. I'm your host, Michael West. Today I'd like to talk about packages and serialization using PowerShell. A couple of commands that we're going to work with are the export package, get item, new item source, and new package. And as always, if you'd like to download the module, you can get it from the following URL. Check out our blogs and contact us through Twitter. Alright, so what we're going to do first is I need to create some data that I'd like to serialize. Alright, I'm going to go to, I'm gonna, first I'm going to create a new folder. That. And create a new template. And we're going to call it dinner item because I'm hungry. And let's see, ingredients, um, turkey, what else, corn, and green beans. Sounds good. Okay, created our item. Now I'm going to open up the uh, ISE. All right. And uh, the first command I'd like to use is get item. And let's see. Okay, so we're gonna get item. And the path will be in the master database under templates SPE. Okay. Run that to test see what it gets back. And it looks like we received the that template folder. And then I can run the serialize item command using the recursive switch. And that will recursively collect the items returned from get item. And in this case, it was one plus the recursive, which will give me two items. And if I switch to the serialization folder, see the items have been serialized it shows today's date uh, real simple uh, once you've got this you could hook it up to whatever method you like you can use a, a task scheduler to back up these items uh, whatever you want to do all right the next thing we will do is uh, creating a package okay I'm gonna go ahead and do new okay the first thing that I want to do is uh, set up the script uh, with some variables, so I've created a name, and this is going to be the name of the package. Call it dinner package, and we've got a, a new variable, and I'm going to create a new package, and the name uh, is going to be dollar name, pretty straightforward, and then the source for the package is going to be the items that I've created. Get item. Keep forgetting I, when I hit the double quotes, it puts a curse where I want it. And um, when I get the new items, I'm going to pass it to another command called new item source. And this will create a new, for every item that's returned, it will create a source for it. And that will get stuffed into the variable. And we'll call it dinner plates. The install mode will be overwrite. And the merge mode will be merge. Okay. Now I need to add the source to the package. And so I'll do sources add that new source I created. Then I take the package, I pipe it to the export command, which export package accepts the package variable as a 
pipeline parameter and it'll automatically map it. Then I give it a name. And if you recall earlier, we created the name variable. And then we'll do the same thing. However, now we're going to name it a zip file and use the zip switch. So to go over what we just did, we created a variable with a name. I'm calling it dinner. So the package that will be created will have the word dinner in it. And then I'm creating a new package with that name. Then I get the items that I want from the tree. And for every item that's returned, I generate a new item source with these settings. Overwrite and merge. The items that are or the item sources that are returned, I add it to the sources collection on the package object. Then I pipe the package to export package, which will generate the XML file describing uh, what's in the package. And then I do the same thing, however, this time different extension and indicating that this will generate a package, a zip file. And let me switch to the folder view under packages. Okay, so there's no package here. Then I'm going to run it. And now we have our XML file. Open it up. Okay, we have our XML file here. And then open up the package. We see all the pertinent items in the package. And that's it. So you can take this, um, this portion right here, copy and paste it, and do all the items that you want to back up. Uh, one example uh, that you can check out in the tree under system, modules, PowerShell, script library, PowerShell extensions, maintenance. You can check out the prepare console distribution script. And you can check out the serialized changes. Uh, the serialized changes basically all the same. Uh, if we go into prepare console distribution, edit with ISE. You can see, uh, we created a variable that would just show the, the version that we wanted for the, for the package. Uh, so the, this PowerShell extensions module that's installed is version 2.3 that I'm running. And, uh, oh yeah, and then here we're getting a package. This is assuming that the XML file has already been generated. So you could use test path. data folder packages uh, PowerShell console XML uh, you could use this command to verify whether or not that file existed and then you could do a get package um, or new package see. something like this so in this case, if it exists, then you could do get package. Uh, else you could do new package. This is one option that you could follow. Uh, in this case, we're clearing all the sources in the package and then we're going to add new ones um, but if you predefined in my previous example then you don't have to clear it and, and then the rest is the same and like I said uh, 
uh, feel free to contact us through Twitter or put an issue out on the GitHub page, and we'll check it out. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.